you know, we did three spacewalks, and uh, they were challenging. Everybody talked about the wall of EVA. We are never going to be able to do the International Space Station. We got all these spacewalks. It's going to be really hard. You know, our flight set the whole tone for the assembly of the International Space Station. What did you think about those three spacewalks? Well, I had great confidence we'd be able to do them, but I knew they were going to be very challenging. Just because the amount of hardware that we had to transfer through the airlocks and outside was an order of magnitude more than we'd ever tried before. And we had to stage everything in there very carefully and everything was tethered exactly in the sequence we were going to bring them out. So it was, it was pretty cool. And then, I mean, Jim and I were both working different areas most of the Independently. time. Independently. Yeah. Yeah. So we would see each other periodically as we would uh, join to do a certain task. But most of the time we were off doing our own things. It was. It was uh, very busy, six, seven hours outside for each of the spacewalks. So, what did you, you think about building that hockey stick to go bang on the end? Yeah. <laughs> so what, what Nancy's alluding to is, you know, uh, one of the great things about having humans on a space flight and a team that can react real time is when things don't go right, you can fix them. And we had a couple antennas on the Russian module that didn't deploy. Talk about that. Well, Jim and I had specifically talked with the Russians over in, in Kazakhstan. We wanted to understand the exterior of the vehicle so we knew what each of the things was and how they were supposed to operate and if there was anything that was an override or something that we could do to help make things work we wanted to understand those and so we had a pretty good understanding of the exterior of course the russians said everything's going to work don't worry about it <laughs> but as you remember we had two antennas that didn't deploy properly and so uh, jim took care of one of those on uh, one of the second eva i guess and then on the third eva i took care of the other one and literally we had this long hockey stick, as Nancy is calling it. It was a long aluminum pole that we could use, and we were back far enough that we weren't going to get hit as the thing came apart, or came opened up more appropriately. And we sat there and wrapped on them until they came out. And there was a spool on the inside that, that the yeah. antenna was wrapped around, and that thing went whizzing off into space yeah. <laughs> as, it, as it took off. I thought one of the funniest things was when Jim was first doing it, and he was banging on this thing and waiting, and and nothing was happening and we were all kind of scratching our heads about okay we've done everything he told us to do and just when Jim turned his head <laughs> the antenna deployed and the spool went shooting by him. <laughs>